Okay, hello and welcome to my channel. This is Skeleton Key Tarot. My name is Kathleen Rose and this is a tarot card reading for Gemini, all Gemini placements. If it resonates, then it's yours. There may be more than one story going on here at the same time. I hope that this is of service to you and helps you in whatever it is that you need. So I will say, angel spirits, guides, please help me give good, clear messages to Gemini. Already one card came out. It was the card Justice, which talks about the legal system. It talks about contracts. It tells us about balance, reciprocity, harmony, and beauty. Art and music are also here because it's Libra and it's ruled by Venus. Um... Okay, and so with the Four of Wands coming next, again, this idea of balance and stability is highlighted, but it's also a milestone. It is a celebration. This is a card for marriage, of course. Partnership could be here. The Emperor, okay, masculine energy, husband, father, also authority, rulership, ruling over the home, ruling in marriage, a, a legal ruling okay going in your favor maybe but we should get some more cards before we start to tell a story nine of cups eight of pentacles let's see what else three more cards and then we'll start to pull it together we'll get some clarification we'll get some oracle some lenormand at the end all right let's keep going the star, uh-huh, interesting, but I want two more. Oh my gosh, they keep falling on the floor, you guys, it's okay. The death card, one more, and then I can already start to see a story coming through. King of Pentacles, the sun at the bottom of the deck, and the seven of cups. Okay, so there might have been some confusion here, some smoke and mirrors, but with the sun being there, it says it's going to be clarified, it's going to be cleared up. Um, darkness will be cleared away, okay? With the death card here, again, there's a major transformation. The justice being here, it's about balance, reciprocity, like we said, could be a legal thing. A wish fulfillment. Somebody is working really hard on healing and looking forward to the future. This transformation is going to bring in a lot of stability with the King of Pentacles being here. It's time to cleanse. It's time to release. It's time to let go, to move forward towards something bigger and better than whatever it is you're leaving behind. Something's about to make you feel really happy. Maybe you're getting a promotion. Maybe you're getting married. I mean, this is a milestone. And with the emperor being here, that's energy of Aries again. So Venus and Aries with the completion card here with reaching this. This is a new phase in your authority, in your power, in your um, career maybe. I see a little bit of career. I see a little bit of love. I see happiness here, healing, looking forward to the future. You could be doing something, working on something with social media, working on some kind of humanitarian project that's going to be very good for not just yourself, but your community. And I see that bringing you some kind of prestige. This could just be a, a personal thing as well, though, because with the Nine of Cups here, that is personal happiness personal fulfillment. You may be sharing this with other people though. You could be sharing this with one other person. So like I said, there's more than one thing going on here, but I want to narrow it. I want to focus in on this major transformation that's going to be something that you've worked really hard for that is healing you. It is cleansing you. It is really, really good for you going forward. I see hope for the future and major stability coming in and whatever this confusion is with the seven of cups on the split that's being cleared up okay so let's get some clarification this card wants to come out all right yeah ten of swords comes out first indicating a very painful ending something eight of wands is coming to a close very quickly something ended painfully and 
swiftly. This could also be communication, a message coming to you, clear, open, honest communication. And this is the world card, which again implies the end of a cycle, the beginning of a new chapter in your life. But the emperor card coming out again. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have the nine of wands and the death card again major transformation, the beginning of a very powerful new chapter in your life. This is not just a small thing and you've had to pay the price in blood, sweat and tears to be frank. You might be really very tired of this and yeah, there's been some underhanded behavior here with the seven of swords underneath the nine of wands. You are so tired of having to be strategic on guard all the time guarding yourself, protecting yourself from somebody who was probably very dishonest, somebody that was trying to undermine you, or this was you having to be dishonest in order to undermine somebody else. If it was one or the other, somebody, in my opinion, the seven of swords indicates somebody who's very insecure, who feels powerless, who feels like they don't have the strength and the power and the integrity, frankly, to face their opponent in a one-on-one. -on -one. So they have to do sneaky things, sneaky shit to get around, to undermine their competition. The magician, okay, in this context, the magician is looking very manipulative. Somebody was very manipulative and yeah, you, okay, you are being advised to turn your back, to focus on your financial stability, to look forward to the transformation. You are looking forward to this transformation because it's going to be so much more financially stable than you've had in the past. And this painful ending is propelling you forward towards this new level in your life. It, okay, I see it as a portal. Okay, you are going through this and it is a portal to this new life, this new milestone. You're reaching a new level. This is karma, okay? You've gone through something. I see like, I'm. you know what I'm seeing right now? with the eight of wands and the world card, it looks like these uh, wands, the rods, are like going through the circle. Do you see the, the laurel wreath? It's kind of dark in here, I know, and these are black and gold cards, so it, it might be a little hard to see. I'll try to lighten the, the image in, I'll lighten the video a little bit in post-production, but it looks to me like they're going through the wreath like they're flying through like this is a target okay the circle is the target and they are going to hit the target they're going to go through the loop and by going through that energy that push of energy is going to propel you through the circle going through it like a portal okay i hope that's not too convoluted but like you can vision the portal and then the energy flying through it like a tunnel, like you're flying through this tunnel, like you're driving through this tunnel. Now I'm in a car that's driving through a tunnel. It's a dark tunnel and it's coming from a dark place. But once you get through it, you've got that emperor energy, that boss energy that comes out on top of king of pentacles, nine of cups. So you get what you need. You are satisfied with what you've got, You've with what you've done. You're satisfied with yourself. You're very happy with yourself. You're kind of proud of yourself. Like this, this John Travolta looking dude is sitting here like really happy with his cups. Like he had to work for it with the eight of pentacles here. I see you working really hard towards something that might not pay off right away. And it might it might take a lot from you. And yeah, either you or somebody else involved here has had to be kind of dishonest, lying, cheating, stealing, undermining, okay? Maybe you had to disarm somebody who was a more powerful enemy or somebody feels like they have to disarm their enemy. They have to be very sneaky. They have to wait until their enemy is not looking, their opponent, their competition is not looking and they have to undermine them to go around their back because they can't go straight forward for some reason because maybe they're, you know, maybe they're powerless. Maybe they have less power than whatever the challenge is. But with this death card being here next to it, the four of pentacles, that's like holding on really tight to what you've got. But the death card says you have to let go. 
the death card requires letting go. But there's something about power here as well, power and virtue, being virtuous, being powerful. What's under there? The lovers, making a decision. And that's Gemini energy. So you're looking forward to taking your power back. Okay, you are definitely taking your power back from the situation. What's underneath the sun, please? The chariot, again, victory going forward. Okay, inevitable success. You're being drawn by fate and destiny by a chariot that you don't actually control. He's not holding the reins. He is being pulled. He made the decision to get into that car. Okay, and now it's moving and it's going and he's being pulled through the tunnel and he will come out the other side. All right, yeah, again, under the Seven of Cups, we've got the Two of Swords. This person is blindfolded, all right, and they have to make a decision. There's a choice to be made. There's a judgment call, judgment underneath it says, you have a really big decision. You no, know, I was feeling judgment energy over here with this milestone stuff. This is not a small decision that you have to make. There might be some indecision here, not knowing what to do, not knowing what to think. You don't want to disturb the status quo. You don't want to disturb your own peace of mind. Well, it's already happening. This is disturbing your peace of mind and you have to make a decision. You want balance. You want harmony. This is the moon in Libra. You want beauty. You want goodness. You want truth. We all do, of course. You have a judgment call to make. You're being called. This is a higher calling. You are reaching a new level of success in your life. Whatever that means for you, take it as it resonates. Okay? All of this nonsense in the past with the Ten of Swords, this death, this defeat, this betrayal, this backstabbing, whatever this was that hurt you, propelled you forward towards this. And now you have learned a hard lesson. It probably was very difficult, but you're moving you're moving forward, you're, you're changing location, you're changing job, whatever it is, you get a new home, you get a new job, you get a new career, you're working really, really hard, building up your inventory, maybe you have an, an Etsy store online, maybe you should have some kind of an online Etsy store or something, do you have a craft, do you have a skill that you can make a little extra money on the side, this will help you to transform your life, to have that financial stability, maybe you're going to have more than one income at this time, more than one stream, okay? Yeah, so with this judgment, you're being called to rise up to a higher calling, to this new level. Okay, you've completed a chapter. It's time for something new. And it's time for something that's going to be reciprocal, balanced, and fair, compromise, something above board. No more of this manipulative, sneaky shit. You're tired of that anyway. You need to guard yourself against that. You need to hold on to your power and look forward to taking it back and putting it towards something that's going to be much more good for you, okay? And the judgment, it's like you learned a hard lesson and now you're using your judgment and that doesn't mean we condemn others, okay? That's not our role. We leave that to their own karma to take care of condemning themselves. Honestly, there's nothing we can do to other people that their own bad karma isn't gonna do to them already. So we can keep our hands clean, give it up to God, give it up to spirit in the universe. They will get what's coming to them. Okay, we all do, you know, and focusing on yourself, using your judgment to make good choices for yourself going forward. That's what it's all about. Making the right choice for yourself going forward. Getting very clear on what it is that you believe that you feel is good and right and true for you. Strength and the, yeah, Knight of Wands. Pushing forward with that strength of your character. Okay, that creativity going from, from dark to light all right holding that strength within yourself the strength of your character your convictions your confidence your warmth your sincerity your generosity uh-huh you might be dealing with a leo and aries is here twice scorpio is here twice leo energy with the strength and the sun knight of wands fire sun energy you might have these in your chart libra is here obviously aquarius is here obviously so you know you're being propelled forward with big, strong energy. I just see you being pushed forward. Okay, let's get some thought. Do a little more for Gemini. Balance, harmony, making a right choice. Not all of these choices are created equal. Science, no, the six of swords. Okay, you're traveling, you're on a journey, you're on a vision quest. You need understanding, you need objectivity, you need a balanced mind, a balanced approach to this. The clarity that you seek 
is coming for you. You know, it seeks you back. That understanding that the method, the scientific method, being very methodical in the way that you approach this. This is Mercury in Aquarius again. So Aquarius encourages us to have that universal view of things. Two more thoughts for Gemini, please. You're gaining enlightenment on a situation. You're getting clarity. The clouds are being dispelled by the sun. You know, like... It's a cloudy day, but the sun comes out and the fog is dissipated, right? So let's keep going. Yeah, High Priestess, all right. Again, let's get one more. I, I have a lot to think about the High Priestess and a lot to say about her. But she's, she, uh huh, the magician. That's Mercury energy, that's Gemini energy. Bottom of the deck, the Empress. On the split, you have Sagittarius with Temperance, the art card. Okay, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. You just keep on moving. And um, Empress here, Emperor. Venus energy again, beauty, goodness, and truth, okay? Also, it's fertility, whether it's physical, actual babies, or creating something new, birthing something new, and nurturing something putting all of your effort into it and combining two energies into one to create something new, combining two cups into one cauldron so that you birth that rainbow of light that comes out. And the rainbow of light is the promise of God, the universe, spirit gifting you. The world here is a gift from God. You are given this opportunity to excel, to become a boss, to boss up, all right? This is beautiful, but you have to make the choice. And you know, there can be some confusion, Maybe you need to get real smart about this. Doing some research on the internet could help you. But you know what? With the high priestess being here and the magician again the second time, I feel like this first magician was highlighting the fact that some people can use their magic in very manipulative ways and you need to guard against that. Yeah, somebody who might be an earth sign could be doing something like that. But you, on the other hand, you have your... Look at that with the king of pentacles, earth sign, magician coming out again. I don't know. I'm getting one message about that. On the other hand, I'm also getting the message that you have your own magic as well. You have the gift of gab. You have your own ability to speak. You have your own word, your own will, your own way of using all the tools at your disposal. And you know what? With the high priestess, like I was saying, she always trusts her inner voice. Trust your intuition. Trust your inner voice. It is telling you. There's a voice within you, your heart, your spirit, your soul. Spirit is speaking to you. You are channeling messages messages. They are important. You have something to say. It's important to be very intelligent and objective about how you do this, but you need to use your mind, your intellect, and your intuition, your connection with spirit at the same time to manifest this brand new beginning for yourself, this new level of wealth in your life. You can do this. You have all the tools. You are Mercury. You are Gemini. Okay. Mercury rules Gemini. You got Gemini coming out and look at that. The star again, you have every reason to have hope for the future. Hope for the future is here. Renewal, regeneration. Those are good words to use in this reading. Renewal, hope restored. Okay, you are being restored. There was a tower moment in the past, I sense, with the star card being here twice. There must have been. And the, the ten of swords, it implies this painful ending that has already occurred. Okay, but now the star being here twice. Healing. Going forward, cleansing. You may need to do a cleansing ritual. Okay, let's do Oracle of the Radiant Sun. Oh, wow, they jump out right away. Three of them. I'm going to take them. I'm being told to take them. They jumped out right away. Bottom of the deck, originality. Originality. Mercury in Aquarius. Again, Mercury in Aquarius. Science, innovation, originality, original thinking, inventing something new, coming up with a new idea for yourself is here. Okay, Mercury in Libra, influence. Look at that influence of that snake. Mm, I don't know. Influence. Mercury and Libra. Libra is here. Mercury is here. Look at that. That snake there. That is a big snake in the Garden of Eden talking to Eve and Adam here. And they look at they're now clothing themselves. So somebody's making them aware of their nakedness. You know that story. And then we got resourcefulness here and we've got indecision. You have a decision to make. That's again Venus in Libra. I'm getting a lot of Venus Libra energy here through the whole reading. This is about your resources. Somebody's trying to influence you 
into making these decisions and you, you feel time is running out, you have a decision to make, you're in despair about this, there's an angel on your shoulder, there's a devil on your other shoulder. The angel's telling you to do the right thing with the high priestess. Your inner voice will never do you wrong. Your inner voice is your higher self telling you the right thing to do. You need, you need to have that. You need to hold on to your virtue. Hold on to what makes you pure. Hold on to your own intuition. What is it telling you to look forward to? Turn your back on this. Yeah, guard yourself against this snake. I love snakes. I love reptiles. Why not? But we know the symbolism. It's about death. It's about rebirth. It's about wisdom. We gain wisdom from that snake bite because we learned that lesson the hard way. I think you've had that snake bite already. Allow it to propel you into this new new life. Let go of the past. Do not resist. Do not resist your own voice. This is about your resources. Okay, this is about your stability. This is about your boss status. You have a decision to make. Somebody's trying to influence you one way or the other. I think you're going to have to block out. And yeah, okay, okay, Um. Uh, I hear you. Um. There's a, where was the two of swords? The two of swords is telling you, do not listen. Block out all of the external influences. Okay, ignore external influences Pay attention to your internal influences. That is the voice of your higher self telling you. You have a judgment call to make. The f oh, what is this? The fool and the princess of swords. Okay, you want to take that leap of faith towards something new. And there might be, you might be a little rebellious at this time. You might have to be a little rebellious. You might have to be a little argumentative. Maybe normally you, uh, you know, you want compromise. You want to get along with people. You don't necessarily always want to have to... Yeah, maybe you want to be like Libra. You want to be diplomatic, right? Maybe now is not the time. <laughs> maybe it's time to be a little more like Aries. Aries is not diplomatic. Aries says, I'm going to do it my way. Libra says, okay, well, what works for you and me? Libra wants to find the win-win balance. There's something good about that, but maybe that's not going to work this time with the Ten of Swords coming on top of the Libra and the Eight of Pentacles. Maybe that didn't work. Maybe that doesn't always work. Maybe that will work for you. It's it's your decision. But it looks like with the, the Mercury and Venus in Libra, it's about your resources. It's about your decision making. Are you going to listen to these outside influences? Are you going to be soft and receptive? It looks like you're being guided towards being a little more assertive than that, being a little harder than that, a little more stubborn than that might, might help you right now. Going forward in this major transformation, you want to boss up, you're going to have to be the boss. Oh my God. I just heard, if you want to be the man, you got to beat the man. <laughs> like wrestling? Are you kidding me? Ric Flair? I'm not going to do the, the Ric Flair thing right now. If you know who that is, he always yells like, I'm not even going to do it. I'm not going to do the woo. I'm not doing the woo. It's too loud. <laughs> but if you want to be the man, you got to beat the man. Okay? You can't, yeah, you cannot let, now is not the time. It says now is not the time to be so diplomatic. Maybe you don't want to be diplomatic. Maybe you already have Aries in your chart and this is just confirmation to you to push forward on your own. Independent. Strong in yourself, in your own convictions. All right, let's get some Sibylla Oracle. This is the Sibylla. Sibylla, I usually do Lenormand first, but we're gonna do Sibylla first because it's already in my hands. I don't even know how this got in my hands. I must've reached for it when I was talking too much. All right, help us out. Sibylla for, no? Okay, I gotta do it in the right order. All right, all right, all right. I, I always listen to my inner voice too, right? I'm starting to get some interference. I'm surprised that the Eight of Swords didn't come out yet. Interference. Okay, Lenormand, Bluebird Lenormand for Gemini, please. Angel spirits, guides, help me give Gemini clear messages. Somebody's going to send you a message from a place of pain and heartache. And you're going to have to make a decision about whether or not you decide to give this person what they're asking for. Okay, that's a message. You have a decision to make. Oh my goodness, the snake. Do you see this? I know it's getting dark in here. The sun's going down. Do you see the snake? Snake. All right. It says, vile is the serpent who lulls with a bite. Be not indulgent or slow to the fight. Flee from flee every moment she turns on the charm. This poised opponent will bring you to harm. Now's not the time to indulge the snake. I can't believe that came up. Clear messages for Gemini. I can believe it though because tarot is magic. This is a form of magic. This is divination. 
we're doing divination here. We're helping Gemini to make the right decision for themselves to heal, to move forward in the future in a clear, open, honest way. Renew, regenerated, renewed, clarified. Okay, let's keep going. One more for Gemini. I don't know if we're even going to get another one for you from Lenormand. It's like Lenormand and Sibylla don't even want to talk right now. I'm not going to force it, but I like to do a full... Oh, here we go. I like to do a full reading. The fox... The fox is sly. A friend is too. Someone may try to deceive you. Okay, we were talking about that deceptive stuff. You got to guard against it. Somebody could be an earth sign. Doesn't have to be. Maybe it's just somebody who's real slow. <laughs> Burdened by the secret. That, yeah, there's somebody who's hiding a secret. They've got burdens on them. They're on this dark side of the moon thing right now. They're going through the dark night of the soul, but they're hiding something from you, okay? Someone may try to deceive you, it says a fox, with wily glances and a renard snaps. Evade deception and beware the old traps. Bottom of the deck is the mice. Are you seriously? The mice are little robbers. They're trying to steal from you, okay? The robber mice take your treasure. Inside the house, they steal with pleasure. Oh my goodness, hope's not for gone when this card is near. Once the mice are gone, you'll regain what is uh, what is dear, okay? You'll regain, but you gotta get this, this fox, this snake, this mice. Are you serious? Gemini, you gotta guard yourself against this dishonest, manipulative person. Listen to your instincts, be objective about this. They might be trying to manipulate your feelings, but you gotta lay down the law. You are the, you have the final say, okay? You have the say, you have the authority in this situation. You, you need to be a little selfish. It's okay to be a little selfish, all right? You're looking out for yourself. Does the Sibylla wanna give us anything to help clarify, to confirm this message for Gemini? Original thinking, you gotta think on your feet, you gotta think on your toes, you gotta look out for yourself. This one wants to come out. Sweet card, somebody could be sending you a nice little letter, a nice card, ace of cups. They wanna make you feel good. They wanna say nice things to you. They're gonna send you a letter with compliments or you know, reminiscing about the old times. What do people say when they want a favor, you know? inconstancy. This is somebody who's in and out, in and out. They're not honest. Okay. They're going to send you letters. She's holding the letter. She's got all these letters, but she's looking sad. And look at that six of swords again, six of swords. That's about Mercury. That's right. <clears throat> Mercury in Aquarius. You got to be very intelligent. Mercury in Aquarius, originality, inventiveness, genius level type of stuff. You got to think above the clouds in this. You got to think outside the box on this and it's like you're going in the traditional six of swords you're going um from troubled waters to the calm shore okay you're being guided to go away from troubled waters get away from this trouble this inconstant person knight of wands he's a player yeah okay i'm i'm saying like you know not everybody has the best intentions I love a good Leo. I love a good Cancer energy. But if you've got somebody who's a player who's in and out all the time, not constant, inconsistent. If somebody's sending you nice letters now that they need something, but they're inconsistent, you know they're going to be gone as soon as they get what they want from you. Is that really something you want to participate in? And they're just going to come and deceive you, lie to you, steal from you? I mean, the Lenormand confirmed it. They didn't even want to say anything. This is somebody that is trying to deceive you. They don't want you to know the truth, but you're going towards clarity and enlightenment. You're not putting up with that. This is about divination. We're trying to we're trying to seek clairvoyance, clear vision, clear vision. That's what clairvoyance means. All right. So we're getting really clear. We're not falling for it. One more, Sibylla, please. Thank you. Gamblers, and the bottom of the deck, thief. Are you seriously gambling, thief? Did somebody gamble, take a gamble, and now they need to steal from you to pay for it? Are you serious? Thief at the bottom of the deck, what's on the split? Thoughts. Okay, somebody's thinking about stealing. You're thinking about something, tree. I don't even wanna look at that right now. I'm being told not to. Somebody's thinking about stealing because they're gambling or something. They're taking a gamble on you, two of swords. You have a decision to make. Are you gonna gamble to take the risk with this person? What's on the split with the flirtation. Uh-huh. Somebody going to send you a sweet flirtatious little card. Oh, I miss you. 
Oh, it's been so long. Remember me? Remember the good times we had? I love you so much. Oh, you look so good in your picture. Oh, by the way, can I borrow uh, $50, $500? You know, like, it starts small. Oh, by the way, like, oh, do you want to go out for lunch with me? I miss you so much. Oh, I forgot my wallet. Oh, I'm so stupid. Can you get it this time? I'll get you next time. And then they call you five days later. Oh, my God, you wouldn't believe it. I, I, lost, my, I lost my job. And really, they're, they're gambling. They're gambling. They're lying to you. They're like, Going to the casino, they're buying scratchers, they're losing all their money. Oh, I uh, I can't believe this happened, but if you lend me $500, because they can see you're doing good. They look at you on their social media and they're like, oh, she looks like she's doing good, or he looks like he's doing good, he bossed up. He's got all this nice clothes, he's got this nice house, this nice car. Oh, I bet his bank account looks good too. Let me see what I can do, let me see what I can get. Let me see if I can get myself in there. You know what I'm saying? Weave my way in like a little snake. Let me see if I can get invited to the birthday party. When nobody's looking, I go through the jewelry box and I put some stuff in my pocket. I take it down to the pawn shop because I've been gambling all my money away. Playing, playing cards, playing slots. I don't know. I don't know your life, but I'm just make, like I'm just channeling this message right now. I hope this is helpful. Let me check my clock. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. I feel like I've, I've, I feel like this is it, Gemini. It's your decision. It's your life. You know your life. If this resonates with you, you've been working too hard to fall into this trap. You got to protect your resources. You got to listen to your intuition and be, be, in, be objective. Be intelligent about this. Don't let somebody flatter you into emptying your bank account, taking your credit card number. There are scams, okay, scammers. I'm being reminded, remember that Instagram guy a couple years ago? Do you watch like murder mystery stuff like I do? I do, I'm addicted to it. Okay, let me just let me just say this. There was this guy, look it up. He pretended he was a billionaire or something, millionaire guy, pretending he was, manipulating women into thinking that he was in love with them and that they loved him. And he would spoil them and tell them all this stuff. Meanwhile, he was stealing their credit card number, okay? Taking all of their money and using it to finance his own thing, which he wasn't even making money doing his own thing. He would take money from this one girl to spend it on this other girl and say this first girl, hey, I'll pay you back. I just need to give it to these guys to, you know what I'm saying? There was this whole scheme. He was running this scheme and he'd take you for all your money. He'd take you for $50,000 and drop you like that. He'd drop you like that and move on to the next one. And he, I think he was in like a different country or something. And he was fronting like he was this rich man, but he was not, he was a scammer. He was taking people for, I just get vibes like that. Like somebody's trying to work a scam and a scheme and they're try gonna try to target you, Gemini. And I hope that's not true, but hey, that's what the cards are saying. I'm not making this, I mean, I'm, I'm reading the cards. How else can we take this? You're bossing up, you're leveling up, you've come from a painful past, you've worked really hard to get here, this new, new level of confidence and power. Somebody is manipulating you. Somebody's a thief. Look at the snake, the, the fox, and the mice. I mean, I love animals, but come on, these were the symbols that came out in the deck. You have to protect yourself from thieves. That's all I'm saying. They might try to manipulate you. And you don't think like that, but maybe you need to think like that because you're not soft. You're not trying to be soft for these people, okay? You have to, yeah, I just keep hearing. You have to protect what's yours. All right, Gemini, I'm going to leave it there. Very interesting reading. Amazing. I can't believe this all came out. But this is the enlightenment that you need. This is the consciousness that you need, the elevated consciousness, because you're going towards a decision making. Okay, you're going towards a future that's going to be so much better from than where you came from. And there are these snake in the grasses who want to come and bite you to keep you stuck because they can't do what you do. And all they can do is bite and hold people back and feed like the little vampires, like little little fangs like vampires kind of suck you dry. Oh my goodness, this is creepy energy. I'm going to have to cleanse myself. We need to cleanse our space of this, okay? Cleansing our... I'm going to go drink a gallon of water just to cleanse my whole body, and maybe you should too. <laughs> all right, Gemini. Let's all decide to stay hydrated, okay? I think I'm going to start opening up for a personal reading, so 
Let me know down in the comment section below if this resonated with you in any way possible. If not, tell me. Tell me how you like this reading. I love hearing people's feedback. I'm really enjoying hearing from people all over the world. Tell me where you're from. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna try to scam you. Don't tell me your credit card information. I don't need that. <laughs> I mean, unless. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, I hope this was helpful, Gemini. I hope this was good for you too. And I'll see you in the next one, okay? Like, share, subscribe. Peace out.